Hey guys, it's Phone Rena. Today we're doing a test comparison between the uh, Verizon iPhone 4 and the AT&T iPhone 4. We're going to specifically check out the kind of data speeds you could expect to see with both handsets. We're at test location number one and we're going to do it at three different locations and we're going to run the test three times at each location just to get a good tally of numbers. Right now we're just going to note that the AT&T iPhone 4 has a solid five bars of connection while the Verizon iPhone 4 has uh, it's fluctuating between two, three, and four four bars right now. We already did a, um, a test phone call and it seems like the uh, Verizon iPhone 4 still offers a little bit better calling quality just because it's, uh, it doesn't have as much static in the background. So we're just going to run the uh, speed test net uh, app here and we're going to make sure that they're connected both to the same server just to do a comparison test here. The Philadelphia server as you can see and let's just do test number one here and see what kind of results we get with both of them. So first up is just the latency. It uh, looks like the uh, AT&T iPhone 4 has 263 milliseconds versus 228 milliseconds on the Verizon iPhone 4. Download speeds uh, slightly higher with the uh, iPhone 4 thus far. So it's looking like uh, it's going to tally in at uh, 1853k down while 1052k down for the uh, Verizon iPhone 4. So a slight advantage to the AT&T iPhone 4, but you can tell right now just the uh, upload speeds way better with the uh, AT&T version. 1696k up versus 324k up, so it's substantial uh, difference here. Let's run the test second time here. So this time around, it looks like latency is 277 milliseconds with the uh, AT&T one and 316 milliseconds for the uh, Verizon. Download speeds, uh, the iPhone 4 for AT&T is uh, blazing right now, 18, hovering around 18K. Yep, 1869K uh, down versus 832, more than double the speed. And the upload speed is also looking the same. It still seems like the AT&T uh, iPhone 4 offers uh, faster upload speeds. So 1629K up versus 120K up for the Verizon iPhone 4. So a substantial difference here. So let's run this one more time and see what we get. So latency 267 milliseconds versus 302 milliseconds, so not that much of a difference there. But as we see again here, download speeds with the AT&T iPhone 4 has been consistent around the 18, 1800K down mark versus uh, the Verizon iPhone 4, which I don't think has yet to hit the, uh, one, the uh, it's been hovering around the 700, 800 mark. And the upload speeds... Again, just like the uh, the AT&T iPhone 4 wins it again this time. 1660K up versus 232. So, so far here, test location number one, seems like the uh, AT&T iPhone 4 has an advantage in terms of data speeds. So, we'll head off to test location number two and see what we have to, what we could get there. 